I am excited to be here with you. This is a new beginning for both of us. It, you know, as you reflect on your lives, everything that you've gone through, good and bad, has helped prepare you for who you are today. And that today really is the first day of the rest of your lives. I mean, that's exciting to think that. In America, you know, we, our country was based on a document called the Declaration of Independence. Okay, and this was at a time, 1776, when around the world it was assumed that if you were the king or the queen, you had the power and everybody else's job was just to support you. That's what the people were there for. And so what happened in America changed that. It was, it was a shocking thing for those that were in the aristocracy to think that people were declaring their own rights. In the Declaration of Independence, it says these words, that we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal. Think of that, that everyone is created equal. That we are endowed, meaning given as a blessing, by our Creator with certain inalienable rights. In other words, that, it's not the king or the queen or the government that gives the rights. The rights come from God, from the Creator. And among these rights are the right to life, the right to liberty, and the right to pursue happiness as you define that. The freedom to do what you want to do with your life. And maybe it's not much. And maybe it's great things. But this is the opportunity to do that. And it goes on to say that to secure these rights, to make sure that you have them, governments are created deriving their just power from the people. Not from birth, you know, not from power or the gun or cannons, but from the people. So welcome to America because you are now part of us, part of the people. You're Americans. And that means something. Yeah, you know, there are times when things are going real well for our country and times when they're not going so well. But for, since 1776, one thing we've had in common is that this is America, and once we're here, we're Americans. And so I'm so grateful for the opportunity to congratulate you on becoming an American and standing for these principles of liberty and freedom and choice to do what you want, and to get what you want to help you be happy. That's just a wonderful thing. And sometimes in America, those of us that have been here too long, or a long time, forget that this is a gift, an opportunity. They start taking things for granted. And we don't want to do that. And you're taking this effort and doing all that you need to do to be here today helps inspire us that have been here for sometimes generations to remind us that this is a great country and it truly is a shining light on a hill manifesting what it means to be free to the rest of the world. And we've got to make sure we don't lose that and you're going to help us gain that and keep that, that idea, that enthusiasm. As Secretary of State, I'm over the elections for our state and so I hope that you will become registered, that you will take seriously this opportunity and right you have to vote, to have a word, have something to say about who the officials are that are going to represent you. And so I'm just delighted to be here today and I want to thank you for the opportunity to address you. This is the first public appearance in my new term as Secretary of State. Uh, I've got wife and family and I've left them to come and serve this capacity uh, and I hope that you will Think about what you can do to help serve in your community, your family, your neighborhood, to help share in this burden that we have to ensure that America stays free. Thank you and congratulations.